how do we deal with this idea of work-life balance in the, the pandemic? More and more workers finding themselves working from home. How do we prevent that work slice from expanding into other slices of our lives? And that's a very real thing that happens, right? Especially if you've never worked from home before, you find that there's a, this separation between other areas of your life begin to blur and you find yourself being drawn into work more and more often. Generally, that comes from two sides of it. There's the worker side of it that has to create clear boundaries. Sometimes that's creating a work environment that is specifically dedicated to work so that when you walk away from that environment, you are no longer in work. And sometimes Sometimes that problem comes from the organizational side. Your company has probably never had remote workers before and it doesn't know what to do. And it's always evaluated its work by how well the team is communicating and butts in the seats and being able to walk around the office and see everyone. And so to compensate for not being able to walk around the office and see everyone, we bombard people with notifications and meetings. Listen, meetings in a distributed culture can actually be more overwhelming than meetings in a colloquial culture where you're used to seeing everyone all the time. What organizations do is they overcompensate. It's, I, I don't see you and I don't know what you're doing, so I send you messages and then I schedule meetings. There are boundaries that need to be that. Organizations need to be able to set up clear understandings of measurements. How do we measure productivity in the workforce? And that means actually setting objectives and goals and this is what it means to be successful, not just are you doing work. From the worker side of things, we're struggling with setting those boundaries and letting your employers know this is when I'm working, this is what you can expect from me, and this is what you can expect from my response time. Because anything else of this always on, like you expect as soon as you send me a message, you're going to get a response from me, is toxic. It's not going to end well. It's going to burn out all of us.